So now I've changed just something a little more subtle about the question we've been asking. So before we were saying is temperature different today than average. So I've added a little piece. Now I'm going to reread this to you. Research shows that regions across the world are hotter than usual. It is known that in February, Orange County has an average temperature of 69 degrees with a standard deviation of 8. Today, Orange County is 95 degrees. Do the six steps to inferential statistics to see if today is significantly higher than average. Um, and actually, we should say if today, Orange County. There we just make sure our um, wording is good. And actually, now that I think, okay, has significantly higher temperature. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, it just it's the have to be compulsive. I should have done that before. Okay, so um, notice that I now I'm doing a higher than average. What I was able to do was use previous research or other research to justify that higher than average question. If I didn't have this piece here that says research shows that regions across the world are hotter than usual, I could not justify doing the higher question here. So it really, if you see something that's suggesting a one-tailed um, conclusion like higher or lower, that you have to see some previous research to justify that. So I have something there. So I'm justifying doing a, a one-tailed um, question. So now I'm going to just um, do my copy-paste. So remember, do the six steps to inferential statistics to see if, and then is Orange County or maybe does Orange County have, that sounds better. I want to make sure our grammar is right. Does Orange County have a higher temperature today, uh, than average today? All right, there's my research question. So I'm going to copy that so I can use it for my null and alternative. So remember, I'm just going to paste my question. It's no longer a question. And it's going to say Orange County has a higher temperature than average today. I want to think about how I can turn that into the null. And that would be adding the word not. Now notice none of my sentences have past tense in them. These are never going to be about the past tense. These are always about current state. So um, it's not going to be did Orange County have, right? It's Orange County has a higher temperature. So um, and then this one we would say Orange County does not ha have, Orange, does Orange County has, okay, I just want to make sure this is grammatically correct, does not have a higher temperature than average today. Okay, so now we want to do our rejection region. And first I'll put it typed in words. Um, but then we'll also want to draw it because I think that's good to see too. And then we will want to make our conclusion at the end. Okay, so now remember, this is a one-tailed test. How did I know that? Because I have the word higher here. So that's an upper-tailed test. So remember, if you don't remember how we do this, you want to go back to the, um, the rejection region video. But here, because it's um, one-tailed, I'm going to use the numbers associated for the one-tail and particularly the upper-tail. So the rejection region is scores above a 1.65. That's it. Notice I didn't say above 1.65 or below a negative 1.65. When it's one-tailed, you don't incorporate both. You just do the one because it's a total of 5%. So we're just going to stop there. But now I want to draw it because, again, you don't have to draw but I think it makes it um, kind of speak to you a little bit. So I'm going to draw it over here. Here's my distribution. I have a score here, 1.65. And then this is my rejection region here. I'm going to label it RR. Lowercase, uppercase, doesn't really matter. All right, so now we're going to do the math again. I'll start up here so I can give myself some room with my big old handwriting. So remember, it's 95 minus 69 divided by eight. So make sure you know how to get those numbers from the prompt. And we calculated this before, so I'm not gonna to feel too bad about just cutting to the chase where the answer is 3.25. So now I wanna see where that is in my picture. And 3.25 is kind of right out in here. Oops, it didn't like that. Since that's where my score is, I now know that I'm gonna reject the null. Since I'm gonna reject the null, I'll cross it off. I'm going to reject you null, 
um, because I'm in the rejection region. And since I'm going to reject the null, then this is the conclusion I'm going to make. So then for step five, say I'm going to reject the null. And then down here, for what I tell grandma, call her up. Now notice my uh, alternative says Orange County has a higher temperature than average today. And you might be thinking, oh wait, she said to have to get specific. That's actually already specific. When it's one-tailed, it already got specific. So we can still just say Orange County has a higher temperature than average today. And that's all that we need for this, this question. Now, since we're here, I'd like you to envision what would have happened had I made it a lower tail test. Let's say that research shows that regions across the world are colder than usual. If it says colder than usual, then this had to be a lower tail test. This would have said, does Orange County have a lower temperature than average today? Right, because the, the, these word prompts are all based on um, the previous research, not on the data. And so maybe I'll just change my pen color and show you in purple. All right, so if I were looking at, if I had done a lower tail test, my my picture would have looked like, that's just weird. My picture would have looked like a lower tail test with a negative 1.65. Because the question, if I had reworded it as a lower tail test, would have said that the regions across the world were colder than usual. Now notice if it was still 95 degrees, my 3.25 would have still been up here. But that's in the fail to reject zone now because there's no shaded in rejection region on that upper tail. So if you make a lower tail test and your score is way on the very upper end, 3.25 is pretty far away. But you see, you would still fail to reject the null and say, hey, that it was not, uh, you would have to go with the conclusion. So that was not a, a lower temperature. And so that's one of the dangers of doing a one tail test is that you may make your conclusion one way and the data come out the opposite, but you can't conclude a difference at the end of the day. So in this case, um, our data were just upper tails, so it ended up rejecting the null and that was fine. Um, I just wanted to point out, if we had made this a lower tail test because we had previous research to justify that, we would have missed out on the opportunity to reject the null and then make any kind of conclusion that was meaningful. All right, have fun practicing.